Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm behind the front end of this 2012 Tesla Model S. This is a beta prototype. The performance signature. This and we'll take a look at it. This one has xenon headlamps and LED daytime running lamps and LED fog lights. And this is the traditional Model S grill. It's um black with chrome sheathing around it and your little Tesla logo there as well. Back out. These are 21 inch wheels. And these are the performance specific wheels. That's why they're gray. Otherwise it will be silver if you don't get the performance. Better put it at me. Now this door handle does not work but I'll show you how it works on this one. You just push it and then there's a little touchpad down there and then you hit that and then it would come back now the ones with the keyless entry it's gonna come out as, it, as long as you have the key with you and you get close there's the charge port door too this doesn't want to close though This is the set of storage. It's 31 cubic feet deleted, in, believe it or not, and there's LED lighting there as well. And backup camera. Another performance specific thing is the carbon fiber spoiler. Now, essentially, this is a top of the line version with. Um, with just the um, sound studio package, that's it. No other options put on to this. But this has the Napa leather seats, the tan Napa leather, 12-way power driver seats including lumbar, a power tilt and telescope steering wheel, Yeah, nice art telescope. Turn signal. Oh yeah, and this is another thing. Traditional with some European cars, if you move it a little bit, it would be three flashes. And I will also show which door is open. Now, if I had the key, then to start it, you just put your foot on the brake, and that's it. And then that turns into a speedometer. Right now, this has 240 miles of range. Now, this is a non-drivable prototype, but this has electrically assisted power steering, yeah, voice commands. Yeah, about a year-long wait list, though. Doesn't seem to be working. And this is the um, instrument cluster, which is controlled. Yes. And you could choose which one you want. We'll do range, 40 miles. Just hold it down, and then you can change some of this. Oh, this is actually volume. Change the different stations. The shifter is this thing right here. You just move you just move it all the way down for drive. You just move it down a little bit for neutral, up for reverse and the button on the side for park. Your cruise control, your turn signals, and like I said, the three way flashes. And like I said, your power tilt and telescope steering wheel. Now interestingly enough, this 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 and this is all for Mercedes. This one has the carbon fiber decors. Sliding armrest. Cup holders. Power outlet. Two USB ports. And a huge storage space. 
here. Now, by far the most popular feature of the Model S is the 17-inch touchscreen display. So we'll go here, here to media. There's just radio, AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. In and out radio, my music and devices, favorites, and recently played, and now playing. And na and the navigation system right here. You could browse the satellite map. This is actually Google Maps. Turn it back. And you could search for your places. Um, there's energy monitors. It's pretty much the flow monitor of your car. Right now it's doing a lot of things because this is a prototype. And your motor power, motor region, and HVAC power, all in kilowatts. And there's internet web, which is down here. And any of these can be switched or fully expanded. Right now we'll go on YouTube. There's a Wi-Fi hotspot, and right now it's using 3G. Oh, no. Make a nice day out of it. Uh, he looked up Nintendo World on there. Yeah. He likes Nintendo. Yeah. He likes that. Yeah. That's. Yeah. It does on the. It does on the other uh, versions, but we don't have it. We to make it. Uh, we have to. And here's YouTube. Let's see if I could uh, find my channel. Out there, so we stop showing the app library. Uh, That's my channel name, M67V. There's my channel name. Let's see if I could find my YouTube. It doesn't have a flash player, so you won't be able to play any videos. Oh. oh wow, here's my videos. Backup cameras. It will show you everything behind you, but right now it doesn't work. And phone. No phone connected. You can go down to controls. Hold on. These are the AC controls. How are you? And right now it uses it Welcome. uses electric power for AC. So we'll and there you go. Uh, yeah, dual zone well, climate control. You the, for me? the the volume. Yeah, what's it down the there? Front. The it's front yep. Um. Parking brake is on. Could turn off the parking brake. There's display. Could turn up night brightness. Um, display setting. We're gonna go on day. Now it's gonna turn into white. Display. Let's turn up brightness. Trips and range and driving. And you could turn on, this one would have active air suspension, but this is a prototype, so, so it doesn't work, but you could adjust it. Um, set, reset your regenerative braking, um, steering as premium, which is going to be light, sport, I mean premium, which is standard, sport, which is like a BMW, and comfort, which is like a Cadillac, traction control, and dome lights on and off. Um, turn on the headlamps. Turn it off. Keep on the daytime running lamps. Ambient lighting. Um, lock the doors. Charge port and trunk. And the parking lamps. We'll have it off. Turn on the Fox too. Uh, this is called the Model S, uh, produced by us. This is the Hazards. These are the only two solid buttons except for the window switches and stuff like that. Glove box. Decent size. And these window controls are also for Mercedes. Sweet. See the windows. These are pillarless windows. And power mirrors. Uh, 
and in the instrument cluster, like I said, you could change the two screens, but the speedometer shows how fast you're going, a digital readout, what shift reference, your estimate, I, I mean your ideal range, um, your, your power band, and how much energy you regenerate. Regen the same. Right now, the steering is working. Well, let's check out the back seat. But uh, you'll get uh, 31 to 62 miles per hour. You'll get 29. You gotta be on a road trip and get up to 300 miles per hour. It's the rear seat. The seat belts are invisibly hitting in there. Now, this does not have an armrest, but you could get it an armrest as an accessory. And there are also latch points here as well. LED lighting, too. Our CEO is the co founder of a company called PayPal. Hey, welcome back. And for the seats to fold down. We don't advertise to do like commercials or anything, it's all worth it out. The seats fold down. 60-40 split. I showed you the cargo area. What's that guy? Saw that door handle. And this front trunk, or as they call it, trunk, has LED lighting, some extra storage there, and dual latches for increased st stabilizing. I guess we could say. Just let it. So, we're gonna go to controls here. We'll turn on the headlights, fog lights, and the hazards. All the windows are fully automatic. And you could see, I'll open this door a little bit. And you could see what I mean by how the windows. Hold on. And you could see how the windows, like I said, are pillarless. Sport move. You actually have three versions, so depending on what you're using the car for, you can pick a base level which offers 160 miles per charge. LED tail lamps the carbon fiber spoiler and your reverse light and your backup camera which is not functional right now the carbon fiber trimming on the sides and the bottom are part of the performance package as well and some lighting there LED lights like I said earlier and LED fog lights and I and I ne and I failed to mention that these are also LED lighted. Now let's go over some of the build quality things as well. Controls, turn off the headlamps and turn off the hazards. Now this part of the door panel is all leather, and here this is leather. This is carbon fiber some leather here even this is covered in leather this is wrapped in leather but it isn't really that padded this is nicely padded in leather leather seat belts this is all Alcantara sun visors are took were taken off um and this is lined with felt open the glove box this is lined with felt as well and with the performance, you can you can also get an optional suede dashboard. Well, I guess that that concludes our virtual tour on this 2012 Tesla Model S signature performance. Hey YouTube, and good morning too.
I believe that most people w would like to know the what the Tesla Model S Boost Shield looks like. So why not show it to you? So think doesn't have that much pages, but it's pretty very short. And this is the best part about it. That would make a lot better poster than that one. <coughs> so yeah, there's your model S push here. You could use it as a poster. Or and then when you're finished with it, you see a one on the signature bed. There you go. A little model S push here for you. Oh yeah, I forgot the back. Yeah, let's see the back. This is kind of hard to read, but most people might not care what that says. That's tan leather and carbon fiber. 